There we go. This is how we get the bottle in. And if the little guy's awake, there we go. Ooh. Always check to see where you're starting. See where we're starting? All right, and I will know how much he's drank. Okay, here you go. See, he's kind of in a sitting up position. We're supporting him, making sure the milk is in the nipple of the bottle. And here we go. Here we go. How easy is that? Well, when they're cooperating, it's easy, but sometimes they're very squirmy and you have to kind of direct them. It's odd that in this litter, the runt, the one that was the weakest and the one that gave me the most trouble opened his eyes first. This one is still opening her eyes. His or her eyes, I can't tell because they're so little. They open their eyes at about 10 days. And this one has a tendency to fall asleep on the bottle. So sometimes I have to jiggle the bottle, but you don't want to jiggle it too soon because you don't want to break their stride. They're about 10 days old, so they can go for two hours. If they're less than 10 days old, you have to feed them every one and a half hours. Otherwise, they can die. And part of what happens is they get diarrhea, they start fidgeting, they can't eat, and you know it's because they're not getting food on time. So, if you're doing it correctly every hour and a half when they're about a week old, that's good. And then you can move them up the next week to every two hours, and the week after that to every two and a half hours, until at five weeks they can go every five hours. And in six weeks, you wean them. This one has fallen asleep, so I have to jiggle the bottle a little bit or roll the nipple a little bit so it's not too comfortable in his mouth. See how he's holding his little bottle? This is my little bottle. Okay, you done? Let's see. Okay, this is why you look. You see how much he drank? That's excellent.